Hey folks, it's Mad Rabbit back in Medieval Minecraft Creations, uh, continuing kind of where we left off last time. I wanted to make a house right here. Um, kind of go for back to the tutorial thing again. I know I didn't think that people were too interested in that, but um, I figured what the heck, I'll, I'll, I'll do one. I just feel like doing a house today. And I'll probably go back to doing something on this tomorrow or whatever, whenever I, I do it next. Um, it's a pretty simple design. It's not something um, abnormal or things that we've done haven't done before. It's just that I'm trying to do something symmetrical here, and possibly be something that we could maybe copy to another area or something. So I want it to look semi decent. Um, as you see here, basically it's just three cobble all the way around for the base, and then you're going to have uh, beams for the walls. I go, I'm going up four total. And that's basically just going to be all the way around. And um, I'll probably come back in and also make our windows here. Now you can choose any color wool you want for this. Um, you can always trim it with like a sideways log, which always seems to give me problems. See, sometimes it'll do it, sometimes it won't. There's different ways you can do it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to probably just pause here and I'll show you the next step in just a moment. Okay, and onward to part two. Walls have been raised. I did decide to go with this. I wanted to try and test it out today to do uh, some of the logs on the side up here to kind of trim it. Um, as you see, I did sort of extend them on the inside so you have some uh, beams on the inside of the thing. Um, over here, I'm most likely going to remove some of this stuff just so things don't blend in too much together. Um, I'll probably put some kind of rugging in in some of these areas but as you down as you were down here I, I decided to close up the windows didn't seem to make much sense I may open this one up though yeah that might actually work for us still um because you have a, we have a little nook here we could um, put in our kitchen over here also that's a possibility so I'll work on that a little bit later and it just sort of twists and go uh, goes up now so we want here for things to sort of change up. So I think what we'll do is we'll kind of like we'll go like this and go up. But let's just take a quick look and see if everything measures out properly when we do that. Because we want to make sure there's an odd number here. Three, four, five. Good, that's an odd number. But I don't know if I like the idea of it going on the inside like that. So what's actually... Yeah, I sort of like when we do these things, they have them sort of dangling off the ends. I think we'll do it like that. What we'll have here is... Hmm, that doesn't quite work for me. Two, three... What you could just eliminate that. And there you have your three. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it this way, which means this is going to have to be lowered. So if you're following along, <coughs> I, I am sorry. So your flooring level will be here. So that is how we're going to do it this time. At least that's the way I'm going to do it. You can optionally do it the other way, and but you'd probably have to have two rows of cobble in order to lift it up from the ground. So here in these corners to cover it up, I will put these in. And because, well, yes, you do see that from outside, so you really kind of have to leave that as is. Hmm. Design flaws, design flaws. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up now. And um, I'm also out here going to do some decorative work. I could probably do this, but I don't know if I want to cover up the cobble. So we'll leave it as is. But in a lot of areas... I may actually add some of this stuff as embellishments. 
Yeah, I actually kind of like that. So let me pause here, raise these walls, and finish this as I have it currently set. Okay, after quite a bit of work, uh, I decided to come back. <clears throat> I um, Let me just show you quickly how I did it. I pretty much just filled everything in here. The inside walls for this level will probably be, will probably use probably this one right here. And so when you, so like this will be like a bedroom here. And so you can just make a wall here. <clears throat> kind of like however you want to make the wall. Let's make a center thing. And this will sort of be like what the rooms are going to be. So you'll have some nooks here. And um, I could just do that for these other three areas off air and decorate on the inside. And I just basically covered up the holes here with a slab from the inside, as you see. Also, I just did the rest of these around. And up here, <clears throat> I just basically I'm doing kind of like the, the, the way I did it in a couple other builds, where I'm kind of going one, then doing a block, one, then a block, then and, and the last one I sort of just put another a stair and then a block for the the middle beam. Now here I just came up with a design here. I'll try and show it to you. So on top of the middle beam, top roof block, I just, um, it's a slab, a stair, a full block, full block. Actually, no, that's not. This is an up, this is a slab <clears throat> on this top of this block, a stair, upside down, stair, upside down, stair, and then just another slab, kind of up. So that's the design I'm using, at least right here. Um, I never remember these things, so every time I do an end of, uh, a building it always ends up being different but for sake so for the sake I just you guys you know if you want to do it exactly as is that's how I did how I did this one I might do a little more elaborate work here too like I may go like this like that and then it'll kind of taper down into into the middle beam which will be this and then that'll be the design of it like that that's another possibility too so I'm gonna pause here again and make the roof it's basically just not too much different just raising it as we did here I did a white wall here again I just put these in for a little bit of a framework trim and um, I'll probably do that on all ends exactly the same so I will come back in a minute Okay, I came back for the final look. Um, roof finished. Basically extended everything as I said it was going to do. It's basically just a matter of moving these things down and then copying these, the same concept on either side. And where it's appropriate you put a wood log. I could put one here. Um, probably actually should. It looks a little awkward not having one there. And I just put one of these on them. Yeah, I got to do that on every side. Uh, but at any rate, I did recreate this on each side. It was a bit of a pain. When you have a complicated design like that, it looks nice, but sometimes it's just a matter of, uh, you know, how how complicated do you want it. it. I like having the front look complicated and the um, sides and back maybe not so much so. So maybe if you have problems like that of your own, that's what you can do. Now one other thing I put optional shutters and I always do that and another thing you can do instead of doing uh, these here you can either just opt not to have them or you can actually put in the the gates for the the, the um, for this thing so I, but in order to place them you actually have to have a something underneath like that otherwise they, they won't so they won't go on their own so that's that's an option um, I just put it up in front here so you see what it looks like I mean it looks pretty good that way too it's just more work it depends on how much work you want to do on this uh, let's take a look inside I actually did design the interior this time normally I don't bother anymore but lately I don't know I just feel like doing a little bit more interior work um, putting these things in as shelves also works really nice and having potted plants here I think in the next update um, for Minecraft 1.4, I'm assuming, <clears throat> we're going to have the ability to put saplings in potted plants. So 
uh, maybe you can kind of intersperse those sorts of things but as of this particular video that is not out yet other than just one of those uh, weekly builds if you do use those it is out in that small kitchen area I put a couple workbenches in for the heck of it I don't know if they really look good but they're, you know a little eating area and then up here not much else I put these in just to kind of I think these are nice for decoration keeps people from just walking off the edge of that and each room is pretty much you know I put some shelving in <clears throat> the uh, you know chests a couple beds pictures and the occasional flower it's like as downstairs you know and that's really about it for this build guys um, it came out looking pretty good I actually wanted this kind of a look to it where it's open on top um, I think that is it for today um, I don't know what people want me to do next I could go back to this castle some have suggested going back to the dwarven thing um, some people I don't know maybe you want me to go back to the old castle area I don't really know yet so I'm gonna probably kinda of like solicit you guys for some ideas here um, what I want to do is I want to go in here change some of the floors I might just eliminate some move some things around in, in these rooms that it's gonna be a lot of renovation a lot of work but it's not really high priority it's just I sort of felt like getting out of the areas we were in and just working in here you know a little bit just because you guys probably really aren't used to this castle too much it was mostly some stuff from my old series so those that were around for the old series probably seen some of these things when I was building them but I thought it was nice just to come back and do different builds and stuff once in a while and that's sort of why I, I, I was doing this so yeah really let me know which we should go back to I mean I could always go back to uh, finishing that one block we were doing that had a lot of uh, those buildings with a lot of white in them from about what was that 10, 10 episodes ago 15 episodes ago kind of the, the area in front of the uh, the gate the initial gate and I also said I was going to make another gate type system which is based off of Revan Kism's uh, other design he came up with a second design it actually makes a double gate and it's really nice um, I can always do that um, that again that's not a major high priority thing either there's so many things to do I mean it's so many things I, I, I I've also been wondering about um, another tour series someone asked me about tour series and when I'm gonna do another one I have been thinking a lot about that I almost feel like doing another one just because there has been a lot of changes but I, I this is some part of me saying well you know it'd be nice to do one but it's going to be very it's going to be a lot of parts another it'll be considered a series in and of itself it won't be within this series but we'll tour everything again just like we did in the Minecraft Epic Tour season 1 and it'll just be just looking at what we've done and again soliciting for more ideas about what can be changed here and there and I still have not yet implemented stuff from seasons season 1 comments there were a lot of good comments about things I could change I should add in uh, little alterations here and there and I have actually thought about some of these things that's sort of why I was doing that sewer system a couple, few episodes ago down below the down there I'm thinking maybe an aqueduct system in here someone I don't know really this is such a smaller castle compared to the other one I don't know I still really don't even know where I'm gonna bring the other aqueduct system that's leaving the other big castle um, where that's gonna go yeah I don't even know where it's gonna end up so I gotta think of something to do with that there's just so much we can do so if, if people think we're really at the level where we need to make another full tour series I will do it it's gonna be a lot of episodes though and probably like like it was in the other one the other one will end up being 16 um, but it's just like once in a while thing I just uh, if people want that I will do that you'll probably see not as many episodes of this show while I'm doing that I'm gonna kind of um, just to only have uh, so many shows going at one time I'm getting a little bogged down I'm sort of ending some shows or diminishing the amount I'm doing some of the other ones uh, in favor of trying out some newer shows and whatnot so yeah, as you can see I have a Skyrim series I have out now 
And I plan on finishing up my Dwarf Fortress series, the existing one, and probably just taking a break from that. But I, it's, it's going to be one episode a week until I decide it's done. So that's still coming up. And I think we'll just end this here because I'm pretty sure I'm already rambling again, which I don't like rambling in these things. But I, I, I tend to, to mention some of these things in this, in these Minecraft ones. I think most of the people on the channel watch the Minecraft ones. So let me know about the tour series, whether we should go forth and do another season and retour everything. It's up to you. I mean, uh, and, and as for what will we build next, okay? So let me know about those those couple things, and uh, I will see you soon. Matter of fact, signing off. Adios.